Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm actually getting ready for our annual Friendsmas party. I'm super excited for it. I'm probably gonna vlog tonight, but I wanted to do this makeup look because I did pick up a few new products and I kinda wanted to test them out in a video. So it might be a soft glam look, I just wanted to test out like some affordable products for y'all because I like giving y'all affordable options, okay? I like saving my coins and I want y'all to save y'all coins too. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I've tested out on my channel before. I tested out the e.l.f. concealer before, but I tried it out the other day. I ended up picking up like some different shades because I have five total here. I think I only used this concealer like once before but I actually used it the other day and I did not like what it was giving me. <laughs> I don't know but I did not like what it was giving me so I'm actually going to give it another shot tonight. I didn't use the same eye cream that I used the other day which left it kind of blotchy under my eyes. So yeah I'm going to give it another shot see how it works out for me. Fingers crossed because I do not have time for this not to work out. So now I'm just going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. It's the matte finish and I am using the shade deep chestnut underneath my eyes. And over here. Now I saw this trick on TikTok, but I also saw that Arnell did this in one of her videos the other day. And I really, really liked how this trick like lifted her eyes. So I'm gonna apply some of those tips and tricks to this video or in this video. I'm gonna put deep caramel on top. Yeah, cause this one's like a yellow, like it has like a hint of yellow. Let's let that. Let that dry a little bit. I'm just hoping that this works out in my favor. Okay, that looks good. So it might have been my eye cream. But that's weird because that's an eye cream that I use all the time and I never have that problem. So... I don't know or you know what maybe it's because I applied the eye cream and then applied the makeup right after because this looks really good all right so now I'm gonna just put it in the areas that I would normally highlight have y'all been on the internet lately it has been so much going on on the internet <laughs> i never knew that all this stuff was going on because i just need mind in my business and as y'all know i unfollowed pages that were that i felt like were too consuming pages that weren't like beneficial to me in any way shape or form so i haven't really been keeping up with like the latest news and stuff that's been going on but i saw let me move on to foundation because this is looking real crazy right now okay so the foundation that i'm using is the elf foundation this is the flawless satin foundation i got the shade 450 caramel i don't know if this is my shade so hold on this this foundation looks kind of pink I am not I don't I'm not pink at all so I'm actually going to mix it with a foundation that is a little warmer which is the NARS foundation in the shade Macau which one is this this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and I'm just gonna put a pump of that with this one because I'm sorry but I cannot walk around here pink or looking ashy. No. I kind of want to contour too. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 57 Walnut. It's the 
concealer and I'm just going to I guess contour even though this concealer is like the same shade as my forehead and everything <laughs> I don't know I don't know what's going on all right I'm gonna blend that out blend but anyway so you guys it's been just like a lot going on on the internet with celebrities and it's completely out of my tax bracket or it's currently out of my tax bracket so i try not to comment <laughs> on certain things um when it comes to like celebrity stuff but it just goes back to what i talked about in one of my um, previous videos about not idolizing anyone's relationships because people be going through stuff and you don't know nothing about what they go through and you just shouldn't idolize anyone's relationship because you don't know you don't know how miserable how happy how sad how whatever I saw like a lot of stuff with little baby and Jada and I feel like their relationship has been, I feel like she has been embarrassed by him quite a lot in the blogs. I don't really know how true anything is with any of these people because like I said, I don't follow like the tea like that. So I don't really stay up with it, but I did see stuff. I mean, I'm not living under a rock, obviously. So I have seen certain things and I'm just like, you know, baby girl, just know your way. He's young, she's young. They're both young, so it's like, it doesn't give the excuse to do, you know, to play nobody or nothing like that, but these are just the things that typically happen in young celebrity relationships, I guess. In young relationships in general, celebrity or not, actually. Cause I mean, in my younger relationships, I definitely dealt with my fair share of BS, so. It don't matter how much money a person makes. I don't necessarily feel like she is dumb or anything. I don't like to call people dumb for their choices because I have not always made the smartest choices when it comes to relationships, like period. <laughs> I have done some very questionable things in my life. So I could never judge anyone for what they choose to do in theirs. I know how it feels to want your relationship to work out, especially when there is a child involved. As you guys know, I have a child. So I know exactly what it's like to be embarrassed by your child's father. Obviously, I'm no celebrity, so I can't really relate to like the public scrutiny, but I could definitely imagine what it's like to deal with that. I mean, I'm sure it's much worse than what I experienced. I could definitely imagine it being something very difficult to deal with and eventually she'll get tired and she'll walk away or they'll figure it out. Like I said though, I just really wish that a lot more young women and men knew their worth and understood you don't have to go through none of that shit. There is someone out there for everyone. I'm a firm believer in that and I'm just gonna contour my chin but I don't I don't feel like it's necessary to put up with anything that is not bringing you peace of mind and happiness bottom line you don't need to put up with that all right I'm gonna set under my eyes I'm using I'm using the morphe setting powder in banana rich And I'm also going on top of that and using the Morphe setting powder in translucent. And this is just going to make it a little less yellow. So it's like the perfect shade when you mix the two together. And I'm going to take whatever is left on my sponge and set the other areas of my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. I 
will use, oh, let me get my bronzer. So I'm gonna use this Morphe bronzer. This one is, it says Showman's. <laughs> um, show and Romance, oh, that's cute. Okay, so it's kind of like this. It has like the sparkly one on this side and the matte dark brown on the other side. So I'm going to use that to like bronze. And you only need like a little bit of this because this one is like kind of dark. Oh, it's very dark actually. So I'm just gonna like tap my brush into it and just like lightly bronze my face. Go into that lace hairline, go into the eyebrow a little bit. Just give your face a nice bronzy bronze look. <laughs> Not my lace lifting. All right, just ignore that. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and set my face. This is the Morphe setting mist. I'm gonna spray the matte one on too. I bought the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, the Ultra Matte, so I'm gonna spray that on top as well. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, it stinks. I swear y'all, this <laughs> smells like butt. So now I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm kind of excited about eyes because I picked up this eyeshadow from TJ Maxx. It was $2.99. It's a elf eyeshadow. TJ Maxx, I completely slept on them in the makeup department. They have Anastasia Beverly Hills, NARS, ELF, Bare Minerals. I was like, actually the gloss that I'm gonna use today is from Bare Minerals and it's amazing. I love it so much. I've been using it every day since I got it and it's a lip plumping gloss. Obviously I don't need it, but I love it. Like the color, it's bomb. So I'm gonna use this ELF palette. It has three shades in it. There's a dark brown, a matte like tan or bone shade and a gold and it's only three shades in it but i want a really simple eyeshadow look anyway so i just figured why not all right so i'm gonna set my eyes using the elf concealer in tan sand this oh this one's bright this one is bright all right so i'm gonna blend that out but anyway, as I was saying before, I just really wish that like a lot of younger girls just knew their worth and just understood, or just younger people in general, or older people, whomever. I just wish that a lot of people would understand that they are worth so much more. You do not have to put up with anything from anyone. You are going to be just fine. You could do bad by yourself, honestly. I'm sure for Jada, it's not easy at all to deal with the stresses from the media and having to see your man like all over social media embarrassing you or whatever okay so i'm gonna go into the dark brown shade and i'm just gonna take oh pigment y'all see that wow okay didn't expect that oh. elf <laughs> sis or whoever there's not a transition shade in this palette for me so I think I'm gonna have to go into another palette just for transition purposes only because this one's a little too dark to be the transition shade so give me a second all right what palette can I use I got the KKW palette over here let's see Transition shades, bam. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Classic 2 palette by KKW Beauty and I'm going to go into the shade Abundance and use that as a transition shade. Because I can't go in all harsh like that. Speaking of KKW, what's going on? <laughs> Her and Kanye. But I mean, realistically, they're a whole married couple. People who are reporting on their relationship, it's just, I feel like it's a bit 
intrusive like I understand blogs like having to do their job and report the tea and all of that but I just feel like when it's a marriage there are children involved and things like that I feel like I don't know certain things should just be off limits but you know whatever is going on with them for everyone's sake I hope they can figure it out because it seems like it's a little messy. <laughs> it's a little messy. I've always been like a super big fan of Kanye. Even with everything that he does and everybody jumping on the Kanye's a coon bandwagon, I like Kanye. I like the fact that he is who he is and he has been who he is from the start of his career. He didn't let any of this fame change who he is I know people like to be like oh he's a coon but like he is who he always said he was whatever he's not changing or conforming for anyone and you can't do anything but appreciate that type of rawness in a world that is so superficial and not to say that I agree with all of his antics but I mean has he ever been any one different <laughs> he has always been the same way over the top Kanye West y'all who try to gang up and be like oh he's you know all of this it's like this man has been the same person he has never tried to make it seem like he is anyone other than who he is I just feel like I just like to stay out of married people's business I like to stay out of people's business anyway I like to mind my own business because I am not a perfect person by far. I have done my fair share of things. So I just, just mind my business, okay? Just mind my business. I'm gonna go into this bone color. It's like, yeah, it's like, it, it's not really a bone color actually. It's kind of like a peachy pink. And I'm gonna place that on my lid, sort of blend that into the transition shade and that dark brown shade that I originally laid down and just kind of create like a gradient effect and that just looks so pretty this is one of my favorite colors to put on my lid that's why I really grabbed this palette I was gonna give it to <laughs> I was gonna give it as a Christmas gift but I was like no I was going to put it in um, one of the gift bags that I'm giving. And I was like, no, I kind of want it for myself. Don't y'all hate that? Do y'all do that? <laughs> buy a Christmas gift or buy a gift for somebody and then be like, no, I'm just going to keep this for myself. All right, so I'm going to take that dark brown shade. I'm going to go back into that palette. I'm going to take the dark brown shade and I'm going to smoke that on my lower lash line and just lightly because I don't want it to be like too deep or anything I just want to lightly smoke it along my lower lash line y'all me without lash extensions who who am I Ooh. I don't recognize myself anymore all right, let's do brows. Um, so I'm going to, you know what, hold on. I'm actually gonna do bottom mascara because then that way this could dry. I've been really loving this Milk Kush mascara. It's so good. I don't know if you could tell the difference. This is with the mascara and that's without. It's such a difference. These, it makes my lashes look so good okay so for my inner corner highlight i'm going to go back into this little elf palette rose all day is the name of it so for anyone wondering i'm gonna go into this middle shade it's like a champagne color and i'm gonna put that in my inner corner it's not much shimmer to it but it's very subtle and i like that Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply 
my lashes. So I don't really have, I don't really have any good lashes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some cut up pieces of lashes and put that on my eyes because I don't really have no other choice. So I don't have any, I don't have any lashes to put on. Let me do my blush and stuff before I do my lashes because yeah. So for my blush, I'm just going to use this Sephora blush. This is the Heat It. Just a pink, pink, uh, frosty blush. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. For my highlight, I'm going to just use the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is Golden Flower Crown. You guys already know. This highlighter, I use it all the time. All the time, literally. So, just gonna put that there. One thing about me, I'm gonna highlight this big ass forehead. <laughs> put a little bit on my nose, just on the chin. So for lashes, let's go ahead and just start putting glue on random pieces and placing them randomly on my eyes. My eyes look so good, you guys. And y'all, I still have like two pieces of lashes left over from my lash extensions. So ridiculous. I know. But I can't get them off and it hurts like when I try to pull them out. It's pretty. Wow. I don't know how I did it. But I did it. Okay, so for my lips, I am... Let me actually... I'm going to set my face like one more time. Should I use this one? Just to like lock it. Ooh. I don't know what lip liner this is, but if I'm not mistaken, this is either K or BFF3 by ColourPop. So for lips, I'm going to use London by NYX and put that in like the center of my lip. So for gloss today, I'm finally using a different gloss. This one I got from TJ Maxx. It's a Bare Minerals gloss. This is the shade Rebel. It's like a pink, pretty pink color. I'm going to just put that in the center. And like I told you guys before, this one is a lip plumping gloss. I just really like the gloss. It's so good. Okay guys, I love this, it looks so good. So that completes the look, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change into my Christmas pajamas and I will be right back to close out the video. All right you guys, so this completes the final look. I am in my Christmas PJs because this is what I'm wearing to the Friendsmas party. We always, every year, my friends and I, we have a, annual Christmas party where we do like secret Santa and we just play games and have drinks and eat and talk and laugh and whatever. Um, so that's what I am actually about to leave out for now. Everyone already knows I'm going to be late. So hi guys, I'm late. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. We're officially at 12,000 besties. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> no, but um, 
Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos from me, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of today's look. Don't forget to check out my Vlogmas uploads because they will be exposing a little bit of my life. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for supporting and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.